Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show you a very quick, a very simple how-to video of how I use my Dynair airbrush system. It's super easy and I'm actually quite impressed with the shade range that this company has. So I was actually really, really excited to show you guys how I use the system. So the first thing you will need is your compressor kit. And I have two shades here. The first one here is Egyptian Bronze, which I will be using for a contour, and Dark Almond, which is my actual foundation color. The first step in using your kit is making sure that your lever is turned at 12 o'clock. So I'm going to take it from here all the way to there. When you first turn on the machine, you are going to feel a continuous airflow coming out of the compressor that's completely normal, um, not to worry or anything like that. I'm going to also have a paper towel on hand. And the first thing I'm going to do is take my dark almond foundation and shake it up. And it even comes with a little shaker ball inside. Make sure that it's nice and nice and mixed up. And I'm going to add six drops of that right here in the little cup. The great thing about airbrush makeup is it's super easy to find your own custom shade if the one that you're using is too dark or too light. All you have to do is just add about um, as, as many drops as I did now, mixing half and half or you know whatever proportion you think is appropriate. And once you do that, take your test paper towel, just block off the airflow at the tip of the compressor, and then pull the lever back, and you will start to see it bubble up and that is the formula mixing. So the most helpful tip I can give you with airbrush makeup is when applying with your compressor, you're going to look for the change in your skin, not the makeup, because honestly, it is so hard to detect when you actually have applied foundation, but you're really just gonna look out for like blemish and trouble areas and notice the change in the way that your skin looks, and that is going to tell you when you have the coverage that you need. So, you're going to hold your compressor at about six inches and gently pull your lever back and circular motions all around the face. And it's really important with airbrush makeup, it's all about starting small and really building it up to how you want it to look. into the forehead, it's kind of a nice, nice little mist. So as you can see, you didn't see much product coming out of the compressor, but you can see I have a little bit more coverage. I'm going to add another layer of a little bit more. It's all about starting small and layering. Make sure you, you are continuously moving the compressor versus keeping it in one static, one, one spot, because then if you do that, you will create what's called hot spots, where the foundation is pretty much concentrated in one spot, and that's not gonna look okay. Something you don't want. Don't forget about your neck and your chin, the bridge of your nose, and that is pretty much it for foundation. I'm now going to take my Egyptian bronze, which is a little bit darker, Next, a cool thing that you can do is take like a little card, this is actually one of my business cards, I got plenty of, right underneath where the hollows of your cheekbone sit, and take that compressor gun again, and slowly start to go back and forth, and then you've got a nice contoured edge, you can also apply some on the temples. And the neck. When you're in between working with two shades, and let's say you wanted to go from darker shade to a lighter shade, you want to clean out your gun to make sure that you're not mixing of the two colors. So what you're going to do is take the cleaner. This is the cleaner that comes with the compressor. Just put a few drops in your cup and then block off the airflow with the paper towel and rock that lever backwards and let it bubble inside. And then once it does that, just spray into the paper towel. 
and clean all of that out. And it'll be good as new. I then decided that I wanted to do a little bit of a highlighting concealer effect underneath. So I'm going to take Nutmeg and put just a few drops of that inside. I'm going to hold this at about three inches and very, very gently pull on the eyelid just a tiny bit because you don't want the product to settle into any of the fine lines. But again, very gently. And then same on the other side. And that's it. Fresh faced. And that is how I use my Dynair airbrush makeup system. I literally did this like step by step right off the instructional video. It's so easy. Literally the only thing that's different about the way that they did it on the video and the way that I do it is I don't look like the model. I did it exactly the same. It's super easy. This is probably my third time using it. And I really, really like this for that makeup without looking like you're wearing makeup look. You know what I mean? I know there's so many people out there that live for that. I do see myself using this more often, especially for my brides. Altogether, it's just a great system to have for, you know, special effects and stuff like that. Thank you so much, Dynair, for sending me this machine. And I cannot wait to do more looks with this. So there you go, guys. There is the final look. There is no need to set this with powder. Um, airbrush makeup is water-based, so it is good as is. I am going to actually record an eye look, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you for watching.